Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So how are you guys doing? <laughs> Good, alhamdulillah. Today I will be reciting a surah and telling you the meaning. The surah that I will be reciting is Surah Al-Shams. Surah number 91. Surah Al-Shams means the sun. And now I will be reciting. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa shamsi wa duhaha. Wa al-qamari idha jalaha. Wa al-nahari idha jalaha. Wa al-layli idha yakshaha. Wa al-samai wa ma banaha. Wa al-ardi wa ma tahaha. Wa nafsi wa ma sawaha. Fa alhamaha hujuraha wa taqwaha. Qad aflaha man zakkaha. Wa qad khaba man dasaha. Kazzaba al-thamudu bi taqwaha. Idhim ba'ta ashkaha. Fa qala lahum rasulullahi niyakata allahi tasukiyaha. Fa kazzabu fa aqaluha. Fa jamjam alayhim rabbuhum bi zambihim fa sawaha. وَلَا يَخَافُ عُقُبَاهَا Again, this is Surat al-Shams, Surah number 91, which means the sun. And now I'll be telling you the meaning. In the beginning, Allah is saying, وَالشَّمْسِ وَدُحَاهَا The sun and its brightness. And then Allah is talking about the moon and how it follows the sun. And we can see the moon because the moon reflects the light of the sun. That's why Allah is talking about how bright the sun is. Then Allah is talking about how we see the sun in the day and during the night the <laughs> the night covers the sun so during the night obviously you can't see the sun and then Allah is talking about the universe we know that there are lots of planets in the universe but Allah is specifically talking about the earth now Allah is saying that the earth will spread now Allah can be literally spreading like literally like on the day of judgment it will literally spread or it can mean the population and people spreading around the earth. So Allah went from the universe to the earth to the people and now to the nafs. Allah proportioned everybody's nafs. So if you were here and like a little ghost would come out of you, it would be like your body. Allah also proportioned it by saying what type of nafs you have. We know that there are three types of nafs. Nafs al-mutmainna, nafs al-mara, and nafs al -awama. Inshallah, we all want to be nafs and mutmainna because that's the best nafs and we all want the best nafs. So Allah proportioned everything for us. Now Allah also said, if you try to make your nafs good, you automatically succeed. But if you don't try to make your nafs good, you automatically fail. So we all want to try to make our nafs good. Now Allah is giving us an example with Thamud. We know that their child was very bad. They must probably have very bad nafs. So during that time, Prophet Saleh, he was the prophet during that time, there was a camel. He said to not kill that camel. But before we talk about this, let me tell you about the backstory behind this. So, Prophet Thamud, not Prophet, so Thamud and his tribe, to, they were saying to Prophet Saleh, make a sheep camel, a pregnant one, come out of this rock and will believe in your God. So Prophet Saleh, he prayed to Allah. And Allah said, okay, and then a camel came out of the wall of rocks. And a few days later, it gave birth. So instead of Thamud and his child, like, oh my God, this is a miracle. We believe in your God. They were like, no, this is a magic. So that's what they did. So meanwhile, back to the story, Prophet Saleh said not to kill this camel and let it drink water every other day. So they shared water. Like one day the camel got water, one day they got water. Now in the Thamud of tribe, the tribe of Thamud, there's this very bad, bad person. His name was Martha. And he said, you know what? I don't like this. I don't like how we get to drink water every other day. I want to drink water every day. And I don't want to share water with this camel. And another reason why they wanted to kill this camel is because there was this pretty lady and he is, she said, if you kill this camel for me, you get to marry me. So that's what they thought. 
So then, so they hamstrung the camel and let the camel drive. Now Prophet Sully and Allah were very angry. So a few days later, everybody died. Allah sent this big storm with earthquake, thunder, and rain, and everybody died. Why did everybody die and not just those bad people? Number one, because no one stopped to this crime. No one said, hey, hey, wait, don't kill this camel. Allah and Prophet Sally will be angry, angry. But no one did that. That's why everybody died. So from this story, we learned the lesson that whenever we see something bad or wrong, we should always try to stop it no matter what. Otherwise, we will have to face the consequence with the people who did the bad stuff. So we hope, inshallah, that whenever we see something wrong, we fix it and we go to Jannah, inshallah, and have the best nafs. Thank you for listening. Jazakallahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.